Episode 61, You Get What You Deserve. Kate had heard from Zach that Frank might have something to ask her, but she did not take it seriously. Until now, Frank tactfully said that the lavish island business had been ruined by Claire. Only now did she realize that Zach had guessed it right. When she thought about Claire's proud and arrogant look in the office earlier, Kate could not help but get angry. So she stared at Claire. You did it! You are really amazing! You have the already signed preliminary agreement, but you are still able to turn it yellow? You even took the initiative to give the preliminary agreement to others to crush it! Good ability! The ability of yours is not something I can compare with. I reckon that ordinary people can't compare to it. You are really amazing! Kate's sarcastic remarks made Claire's face especially ugly, and her heart was even more furious. Thus, she could not help but reply, Of course I am inferior to you! Who would know that I am not as good as you? Did you reply by splitting your legs to take down the lavish island business? These words entered her ears. Kate was extremely angry at that time. This was too insulting. However, before she could say anything, Frank spoke from the other side and reprimanded Claire severely. How can you say that? As a girl, you talk nonsense all day long. Do you have any sense of propriety or shame? Let me tell you, Kate relies on her ability. This is reflected in the seasonal agreement. As a cousin, your ability is not as good as hers. Yet, You are jealous and slandering her? What kind of words are you talking about? After a round of scolding, it was as if the gang did not want to help their relatives. It looked as if they were being righteous. But in reality, Frank did not have any words to say. He boasted in front of the group of the old men that the lavish island's business must be taken down. Now, he was counting on Kate to come out again. Of course, he had to try his best to please her. After that, Frank turned his head to look at Kate with a kind smile on his face. Kate, look at the business of the lavish island. Do you want to talk to them again? They, I'm not going. Kate did not give Frank a chance to finish his sentence. She immediately rejected him. Whoever wants to go, can go. She then pointed at Claire. Didn't you send her earlier? She has the ability. Go again. At this time, Claire's face grew longer and more sullen. On the side, Frank's old face was filled with embarrassment and disappointment. However, no matter how unhappy he was with Kate in his heart, he still had to force a smile on his face. Yes, Kate. It was all your cousin's fault before, but her starting point was also good. She wanted to help the company. But she was anxious and did not take care of your feelings. I apologize to you on her behalf. I'm sorry. But Kate, look. The Lavish Island's business is a big deal after all. It is a a symbol of the Conroy Group's ability. And it will raise the level of everyone's understanding. So, for the sake of the company, you have to work harder. Make a trip Frank poked Kate's heart. If it was not for her grandfather's illness, the Conroy group, she would not bother to meddle in this matter. After deliberately delaying Frank for a long time, Kate finally agreed. Okay. Frank was all smiles at that time. He also heaved a long sigh of relief in his heart. But at that moment, Kate touched her left cheek and added, But what about my face? It seems like there are some side effects. Upon hearing this, Frank was so angry that he was garnishing his teeth. He knew that Claire had slapped Kate, but he did not take it seriously at first. Instead, he felt that it was a good slap. But now that Kate mentioned this matter again, Frank pretended to ask what had happened. Kate said what happened in the office that day when Claire insulted her and claimed she only got the contract because she opened her legs. She slapped me seven times. A total of seven slaps. She is my cousin, and she slapped me so many times. Claire was very angry at this time. You bitch! What seven slaps? 
There was clearly only one I... Before she could finish her words, a big slap landed on Claire's left cheek. Claire was stunned. She stood where she was and stared blankly at Frank. She did not understand what was going on. At this time, Frank's face was full of anger. Bitch! She is my niece! How can you dare hit my niece? After scolding her, he slapped Claire's face with a big slap, causing her face to become swollen. In the following time, Frank scolded her while slapping her again, and his eyes could not help but feel heartache. Seven slaps. One was not a small number. After the slaps, the left side of Claire's face was so red that it almost bled. Kate looked at Claire with a cold smile and then walked out of the office. When she passed by Claire's side, she did not hide anything and said, You get what you deserve. After Kate left, only Frank and Claire, the father and daughter, were left in the office. He closed the door. Frank quickly went to rub Claire's face. Daughter, is it painful? Claire was in pain and angry. Tears streamed down her face. Dad, are you helping her bully me like this? Are you really my father? Frank's face instantly turned bitter. Hey, Dad had no other choice. Just take it as it's for Dad's sake. Bear with it. After this matter is over, we'll teach Kate a good lesson. Dad promises to let her receive 70 slaps. 700 slaps! After getting into the car with Zack, Kate excitedly clenched her fists. This feels great. Did you not see that Frank just slapped Claire? There was a total of seven slaps, and all of them stunned Claire. This is really great. It turns out that being a bad person is so enjoyable. This is too much fun. Along the way, Kate kept talking about Claire's unlucky look and Frank's begging look. She did not even need to mention how happy she was. Zack only looked at her with a smile and did not say anything. When they reached the entrance of the Lavish Island Company and got out of the car, Kate changed the topic. All right, why do I feel like you know everything? You said that they have something to ask of me, so they really came to beg me? Zack casually replied, Of course. I know, because the Lavish Island is really my family's property. I told them not to. I'm too lazy to listen to your nonsense. I'm not awake enough to hear you lie. Kate opened the car door and got out of the car. Regarding Zack's truth, she did not hesitate to label it as fake. Of course, this was also Zack's goal. In the world, what seemed to be the most false was, of course, the truth. After entering the lavish island, before Kate could say anything, the receptionist welcomed her warmly. Director Kate, our manager isn't here. She has something to do and has gone out. But before she went out, she signed another preliminary agreement and it has been stamped. You only need to sign it and it will take effect. Kate received the preliminary agreement that was enthusiastically presented by the reception staff and was a little stunned. This was like having constipation and taking a laxative. Was she having a lot of fun playing with contracts like this? She hadn't even seen anything yet and Wendy had already done it for her? Kate asked in surprise, why? Why did you guys destroy that contract earlier? The receptionist smiled apologetically. I'm really very sorry. I'm not sure about that. I'm just a worker. All right. After leaving the Lavish Island Company, Kate was muttering to herself, It's so strange. Why exactly 